sustainability of water is a problem in this area. The whole community does not have water. Even the school struggle with water. Like you see in our school, we have a stacked uh, a borehole. Our tanks is no more working. Close to six years, seven years. We are using to buy a, a water. In our taps, the water can only come once or twice a week. It can, okay, like it can take more than four days to come. That it's, it forces us to go to the river and fetch water. Even community members, when they, they, they put water in, a, in those uh, a Jojo tanks behind me, they just vandalized the school and came and steal uh, water because we, we understand their situation because they don't have water even in the community. The National Command Council led by the President has agreed that it is time we prepared for the students to go back to school and uh, one of the biggest problems that we, we have with the schools is um, the fact that some of the rural schools don't have uh, the necessary facilities that would make it uh, safe for them to go back to school in a COVID period, i.e. water for washing their hands and proper sanitation. We're talking here um, eight provinces that need assistance, um, except the Western Cape, um, where they essentially have old the materials that are needed for water and sanitation to get going. The issue of COVID requires an aptness in terms of cleanliness. It requires hand washing and it was going to be seriously impossible uh, for our learners. But now we know that the schools will be opening uh, first or second week of June, so we are planning for that. We've mapped out all the schools that need uh, assistance. We've also even broken it down to how we're going to provide that, uh, that, that, uh, the, the water and uh, what support we need. Um, so uh, we're talking um, an upwards of 5,900 tanks for those schools with a budget of 600 million. The money is going to come in trenches. The first trench is going to be 200 million. And with that, we're going to supply water to 2,600 and, uh, and odd schools um, to start going. And um, essentially, uh, to start with the grade 12s and the grade 10s, so that they can go back to school. Yes, let me take this opportunity and thank the Department of Water and Sanitation, especially the Minister, for coming and intervening in our case. I would like to thank the Department for supplying us with water for school readiness right now in COVID-19. We will no longer have the problem of water lack in the school. Here we can see now that water is running after using the toilet and then they'll be able to wash their hands. I'd like to thank the Minister for working together with the Department of Education to bring in water in our school. So we are making plea on behalf of the school, especially as a, as a parents, that uh, the minister must not stop here. We are aware that that is not one of um, your, your duty. We are appealing to the minister of COCTA to make sure that uh, with the work that you have already done, the sleepless night that we've been arranging for the dams to have water, we are appealing to the minister of COCTA Mother Minister uh, Zuma to make sure that the municipality are doing the right um, things to um, take the water to the people. Hey, my love, yeah.